as I started moving up stairs, I passed him up and I noticed that it wasn't just those two guys, it was more and more people just going at it. Hey guys, welcome to Bring Up Apps, Ben the Now. I'm your host, Vale Chikuni. We begin La Cray. La Cray is bragging that he has been to uh, PD de Paris stuff like that and I just like oh wait a minute wait a minute when was this was it back in the day before you were a christian or why you were a christian no he was going to this parties when he was a christian so let's hear what uh what took place in these so-called uh pd day parties okay here we go I I wasn't even gonna say nothing about this, but I'm gonna go ahead and say it. <clears throat> um, I've been to a couple Diddy parties. Now I'm risking a lot by saying this because I know as soon as I say that, all, all the assumptions are gonna come in, and all the and if I don't say evil things were taking place, then I'm covering for them. And if I do say evil things were taking place, then I'm one of them ones like yeah, Lecrae, expose it, expose it. You know what I'm saying? And I've been to lots of parties. I've been to Jamie Foxx. I've been with Snoop, T.I. Like, I've been to lots of places. Um, here's what I'll say. There are people who will test you. There are people who will see how far your limits are. And if you're willing to take a step, then they'll take two. I, I in my personal experience, never saw anything where someone was like, you can't move any further unless you do X, Y, or Z. But what I did see was if you do do X, Y, or Z, well, keep coming because you're, you know, and that's how we all are. It's Psalm 1, right? <laughs> what? This came at the heels after um, uh, Cad Williams was on Club Sheshi, okay? And Cad Williams is calling, okay, this is the year of truth, uh, you know, spinning the beans that happens uh, in Hollywood. So Lacrae decided, okay, I'm also going to share the things that I've also seen happening at PD the parties. And we know uh, uh, allegedly TD Jakes is also implicated at the, you know, these parties that were taking place at PD the parties. So my question to Lacrae is, what were you doing in the first place going to those parties? What exactly were you expecting? Because you cannot tell me that he was going there saying, like, okay, I'm going to this party. It's quote unquote, I'm going to be witnessing. I'm going to be evangelizing. Like, no, we think that way. But every time people have gone to those uh, environments, they're the ones who ended up getting corrupted. And if he's saying, oh, if they would do, they do test you. Oh, it's like someone. No, 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 no. What are you doing in the council of the wicked in the first place? Okay. You, what are you doing? It's not like you don't know what the, you know, these celebrities, PD, they, uh, what they're all about, okay? So by you putting yourself in those situations to begin with, I'm questioning your, your wisdom at that point. But it is not all. So let's continue to hear more. It is a man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, who does not stand in the way of sinners, who does not sit in the seat of mockers. You, you start walking, they're going to walk with you. And now you find yourself standing. They like, oh, you stand? Well, if you stand, come sit. Now, next thing you know, you're sitting. And, and so it was never a situation where I, I felt forced to sit. It was a situation where I was asked, do, do you stand? Do you stand? And I'm like, I don't stand. Oh, okay, cool. And then I was left alone. It's like, oh, he's not, he's not about that life. He's not with it. I'm leaving him alone. Um, and, and this is what I'll say. And I won't say whose party I was at or what party. This is a crazy situation, right? Um, so at this point, okay, we're just going to take uh, uh, Lacrae upon his word, okay? But we were not there. He's telling us the things that took place. Oh, they will test you. They do those things. Okay, uh, what if I don't believe you? How do I know that's exactly what happened? You don't put yourself in those situations willingly, knowingly, okay? Avoid any appearance of evil. Where is that? And let's just say you were in those environments, right? Those people have seen you. Then the next minute they're seeing you, oh, 116, you're on tour, you're doing these things. They'll just be like, huh? 
We saw him yesterday at PDD party. They don't know what you did or what you didn't do because these parties are associated with this uh, debauchery, with these things that are happening. So they're even wondering, like, wait a minute. What is this Christian dude doing over here? You see what I'm saying? So they'll be the one assuming on you. And then the next minute you try to witness to them, be like, oh, I don't I don't know why he's saying this to me because we've seen him uh, uh, at these parties. You see what I'm saying? But you, you, you might have gone there truthfully and then you didn't even do anything. You didn't partake on anything at all. But the fact that you were seen in that company, what are people supposed to conclude? And... I don't know, to be honest with you, why is he even saying these things now? Because I'm like, okay, there are certain things you just keep to yourself. It's not for public consumption over here. People should be thinking like, oh, so it's fine. You can go to those parties so long as you don't participate, so long as you don't partake. But let's continue. I was at one of these parties, and for me, I'll be honest, it was a mix of work. Because this is oftentimes where you go to connect with people, where you go to meet people. And I have met people here and I have built bonds and they have said, I have met actors and celebrities who said, man, thank you for being here. I needed your presence here. You're the reason why I know God is walking with me. And we've had conversations since where they're like, man, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Because how are you going to be a light if you're never in the dark? Now, I'm, now, if you cannot handle being in the dark, stay up out of certain places, right? Uh-huh. Did Raquel just tell us that if you cannot handle in the dark, don't be in the dark? Is that what he said? Hold up, hold up. According to Ephesians tells me, I am to expose the deeds of darkness. Then what am I doing in the darkness? If my job is, is to expose the deeds of darkness, it does not say that you go in the mud, okay? It does not say that you go in there and then participate. That's not what the Bible is teaching. So according to him, or if you're not, so what is the criteria that's going to keep somebody to be in the dark? Can you tell us where are we finding those things? No and no and no. And even if those people shared with you that, oh, they are so glad that you are there and everything else, that is not the standard, okay? We are in this world, but not of the world. So if you know this is exactly what's going on over here, why are you going there? To me, that's, that's a question that I wish he could just answer us, okay? Why are you going to PD the parties to make... Uh, uh, friendships for what reason for what purpose okay if you want to reach them why can't you go to their house because if they're allowing you to go to their parties surely you you can meet them at their workplace or someplace else if that is the if that is the goal okay if that is the goal but you know we, we are not called to be going into the darkness where the deeds of darkness are being participated we are called to be exposing the things that are taking place in the darkness it's not that we should be participating in the things of darkness. Okay? But we continue. I never went to these events by myself. I was always with people who were walking in the light, and we always had a mission. It was never just to go in there and wild out and, and, be, and be stupid. But the other side of the coin is, yeah. No, both of you, you shouldn't have been there to begin with. It doesn't matter. <laughs> both of you, you and your crew, you shouldn't have been there if you call yourself that you were in the light. So... How much light did you show? Did you shine in those darkness? If I may ask. Mm -hmm. But we continue to hear, and then you find out, like, no, they were there, and their light did not shine at all. If anything, the darkness overpowered their light because they shouldn't have been there to begin with. Yes, if I'm, I'm a human, so I'm frail. I'm gonna be honest with you. There was moments for me of like, oh my gosh, I'm here. I'm part of the crew. Like, look at me. Yes, I struggle with acceptance and wanting to be associated with greatness. And I got caught up in some of that nonsense internally, right? Um, but you would have never known that. What I will say is that one particular party, um, lots of big names, um, there was an artist there who said, hey, Lecrae, around 1 a.m., make sure you're not here. And I was like, what? You just don't want to be here at one in the morning. And I was like, now my pride kicked in like, yo, you don't know me. Like, I, you know what I'm saying? Like I can handle myself. Like I'm not some little church boy who ain't never seen nothing. Like I'm good. Like, you know what I mean? Like what you talking about? Well, it's probably 12, 30. I'm downstairs. Um, I go downstairs to the studio. I come up out the studio. And I'm headed back upstairs to like the main area where everyone's kind of congregating and hanging out. And 
uh, the music changed. It was like really hard and heavy at first, and then you know like jamming, dancing music, and it was a little softer. You know, it was a little more sensual when I came out of the studio and started going upstairs. And on my way upstairs, there's like this couch. Um, I won't say how the couch is designed because then that may give away who's party and who's. I'm f wondering, was Lacre, were you expecting something different to these parties? Because, you know, these people, you know what they're all about. And if you go to their uh, to their territory, what exactly are you expecting to find in in those places? Because you know, and he said he went there willingly, knowing nobody for coerced him on anything else. What was the reason of you going there? Help me out here, but we continue. House this was there was a couch, and on the couch. I saw a couple of guys really going at it, hard and heavy. And um, man, and I was like, oh, you know, I, you know, my brain, I'm thinking, well, you know, this celebrity party, people do what they do. As I started moving up stairs, I passed them up and I noticed that it wasn't just those two guys, it was more and more people just going at it. I was like, okay, it's time for me to roll. I'm gonna grab my stuff and I'm gonna get up out of here. I did not know that's how this went down. So was that shocking? Absolutely. Was I forced or coerced into anything? I was not. Um, but why they felt that comfortable, I don't know. Maybe the invite list, they was like, yeah, all these people. I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm shocked. Why is Raquel wondering if they felt that comfortable? They, they, are in their, uh, they are in their territory, okay? So you're asking a fish, like, okay, oh, uh, you know, why is the fish so comfortable in water? Okay, it belongs there. <laughs> so he was in their environment so they, that's what they do in those parties okay and by the way he said parties plural so you went to one party and you noticed these things why did you go to the second one why did you go to the third one okay because he mentioned p d day um ti jimmy fox so those are three celebrities by my accounting so if you went to one celebrity and it was like this you expected it was going to be different to the second one to the third one hmm and how many uh, uh, Bibles did you hand out? How many did you, what happened there? I don't get it. You shouldn't have been there in, in, in that situation to begin with, but let's continue. That it went down. But I've been to another situation, another person's party, celebrity party, and you know, a celebrity tapped me on my shoulder and I was hanging out with them. And it was like, yo nephew, uh, you might want to go into the other party because this cabana, we about to close it up. And they closed up the cabana and there was about three or four big name artists in there. And a whole bunch of ladies start walking in that cabana and a security guard stood in front of the door. Hey, they didn't coerce me. They didn't ask me to come in. And everybody said, you probably should not be in this cabana. You probably just want to go back out there with the cocktails and the hanging out and the hobnobbing. And um, shout out to my guy, Brandon T. Jackson, man. Brandon T. Jackson, um, you know, it, I, I don't know what he's up to these days, but at this particular party, Brandon T came up to me and he said, yo, man, like Satan will steal your soul in this industry, bro. And he was really like, I loved the fact that he felt like, he's like, I love your soul and your spirit and I want you to thrive, Cray. I don't want you to get devoured out here. And I just appreciated that because for him, he was like, he has seen some detriments and some of the dark side of things. And he was like, yo, I want you to be taken care of. So I say all that to say, like, I never felt like it was some secret occult or secret like thing. I felt like there were areas at certain places I think uh, Rakre just wanted to go there. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, we've seen these celebrities, okay? And it just feels good to be in their company. I think that's just what he wanted. He knew all along that that was not an environment for somebody who professes to be a Christian. It was just, okay, you know, out there, take pictures. You know, it's just a cool. That's just what... That's just what happened. But I failed to believe that he didn't know that these places, uh, this is not a place where I would be. Maybe one time when he went to one of the celebrity party, fine. Second time, third time. I mean, who knows how many times. And then you actually have somebody else who is telling you, like, I don't think you're supposed to be here. You know that you're supposed to be there, but you were there for some reason. I don't get it. But to me... Why are you saying about this now? I'm sorry. To me, I see this as him bragging that, yes, I've been to those parties. I've, you know, shook hands with those people. Okay. I have an idea of what goes on in those uh, environments. 
That's just how I see it. This might, I mean, this could be the cocaine room. You know, I don't know. This could be the boom, boom room. I don't know. But I never ventured into those places. You know, that wasn't my thing. And when I felt like something was moving to a level past where my witness or my like conscience would be messed with, I'm out of there. It's not for me. Um, but I, somebody got to be in these places and spaces. No, no, we ain't got to be in those places or those spaces. We are not called for those things, okay? And he said, oh, uh, he felt like his witness, certain places he didn't want to go, certain areas, no. By virtue of you already being there, you have already tinted your witness, okay? You have already tinted your witness. What do we have uh, in Sodom and Gomorrah? He's telling us that, you know, our Lord was tormenting his soul, right? Being in the midst of that uh, wickedness that was going on, Okay. We are, uh, we are to, you know, share the gospel with people who are lost. But there are just certain environments that you cannot, quote-unquote, put yourself in there in the name of, oh, okay, fine, I'm going to uh, go out there and share the gospel. How are you going to do that, okay? The music is loud. The people out there are wilding up. And then you are in there, in the thick of it, in the midst of it. How is somebody going to tell the difference between uh quote-unquote light and darkness because you're all in there participating looking the same you're dancing the same music and everything else yes all those things might be true in your heart but what the audience is seeing is not seeing that somebody got to be there you know to be you know in these environments now i'm not saying somebody got to be at the strip club or don't 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 misconstrue, misconstrue my words what i'm saying is someone has to be in environments where people congregate and you can get to know them and you can build relationships. You know what I'm saying? These were not like, it, it's not just wild and people hanging from the ceilings everywhere. It's really just people hanging around by the pool, talking, having conversations. Some people dance. No, the scripture calls us to call people to repent and believe the gospel. Those are the things that we are called up. But like, you know, for some reason, we want to change up the techniques, okay? Go to the parties, attend those parties, befriend these people, okay? Then sometime, after some time down the line, you can share the gospel. Meantime, you have been to their parties, okay? And then down the line, you'll be, oh, but the Bible says this. They'll be looking at you. Yeah, but homie, we were doing this. You were there. I saw you this, that, and the third. And now what? That's not how we go. Like, no, okay? There's got to be a distinction between people who profess to be Christians and people who are in the world, okay? So people can see clearly, like, ah. Oh, these people are this, these people are that, okay? There's a place for us to be able to, uh, you know, people go and witness, right, to the to the meals, okay? They go out there, they're calling these women to repent and everything. There's places for, for, for such things. But you cannot tell me that going to P. Diddy's parties, okay, to be going in those environments that you, you have to be there most of the time, People get corrupted. People get corrupted, okay? Because Lecrae was, you know, he just started doing music with certain people and then now he's out there campaigning for Stacey Abram, endorsing those, those type of things. You see what I'm saying? You know, a bad company corrupts good morals. There are certain things you just be like, you know what, that's not for me. Those things that can cause you to stumble, can cause you to stumble and they portray a bad witness. And so some people walk in, you know, oh, what's up, Jimmy Iveen, what's up, Madonna, Chris Brown, how y'all doing? You know, you talking, you, you, you have a whole conversation. You can share your whole testimony standing next to somebody by Jamie Foxx's pool, you know what I'm saying? So again, it wasn't one of those situations where it was crazy. And I've been to tons of these industry events, like tons of them. So it's what do you want to get yourself into? On a side note, sharing your testimony is not sharing the gospel, okay? The gospel is not your testimony. You have your testimony because you have been uh, changed by the gospel. So if you want to go in those environments, you need to be calling them out to repent and believe. You need to be sharing the gospel, not your testimony. Okay? There's nothing wrong with you sharing your testimony. Okay? There's a place for that. But if you want to go in those environments, it's the gospel first. You know, what do you, if you want to get in trouble, you can, but I don't feel like my career. And yes, sure. I probably could have 
found some way to finesse it for my career if I really was trying. Um, but it, it's like, is that? I think he did. I think he did. <laughs> In terms of his career. Is that what you really want? Do you want to get yourself intertwined with the deeds of darkness and Satan and now you got to un unwind yourself from all of that? Is that really what you desire? Or do you want to be straight and narrow and go to bed at night with a clear conscience and wake up in the morning and see that God is doing, God is infinitely more powerful and I'd rather trust in him than all of that nonsense. So that is Lecrae over there sharing with us uh, his experiences. So at the beginning over there, Lecrae shared uh, Psalm 1. Okay, and I don't think he's applying his situation to someone. I don't think so, okay? Because this is clear. It says, the way of the righteous and the wicked, okay? Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he made tests day and night. So... How can he apply this? Because he was right there willingly sitting in the seats of scoffers, okay? Standing in the way of sinners. Just because he did not, you know, participate and everything, but you were in their environment, okay? You were in their environment, okay? And it says, therefore the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous, okay? You don't have sinners in the congregation of the righteous, for the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. So, uh, we don't have, there's no need for us to be accommodating things that the scripture does not accommodate. Okay? God is not going to judge you like, oh, you didn't go to PD the parties to go and evangelize. Like, no, that's a place of darkness. You don't want to go over there. Now, you can evangelize P. Diddy in so many other ways, in so many other contexts. Just don't go to his parties because you know exactly what goes on over there, okay? Go to his office, go to his house or other means. But uh, you get corrupted, okay? You get corrupted. We know the stuff that's happening in Hollywood, things of that nature. So, yeah, to me, I just felt like, you know, like Craig just wanted to tell us his experiences in those environment. I don't think uh, his presence in those environment yielded uh, any fruit given the things that happened over there. Now, you know, God is able to use any situation, but I just don't see that you can purposefully, intentionally find yourself in those situations and excuse those situations. I'm finding it hard to believe, but hey, who knows? All right, guys, that is all that I had for you guys today. I hope you find this to be informative to you. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Until next time, remember to be in the now. Thank you.